profited by their silence, and now they profit again by acting like they're your saviors. These are evil people because they didn't sell, tell the truth at the right time. So telling the truth after the building is burned down and at saying, oh, I'm doing the right thing and going on Fucker Carlson show looks, oh my God, that's horrible. And he didn't tell the truth at the right time either. So understand that telling the truth at the wrong time shows a serious lack of courage. of that subjugation process because ultimately health is wealth uh -huh. you can have all the fucking money you want in the world but if you don't have your health that's when you say shit this money means nothing no so our movement teaches you how to take care of your body we teach you the same systems principles that we can use to shatter the swarm you can use those same systems principles to understand your body as a system and of the infinite choices you have for health and well-being, you can figure out what's right for you. The right medicine for the right person. That's the technology, the teachings we created in System Self. Every Fridays, we hold a tutorial. You can go to systemself.com. You can go to truthfreedomhealth.com. But health is the vessel that contains you. It is with that vessel that you can explore truth and freedom. It really, in many ways, is where you begin see uh thank you so much see i've always uh said and i try to educate people on uh, that if someone is uh, telling you things to only frighten you or scare you and they're not giving you solutions they are what i call controlled opposition and i've always i also talked about tucker carlson's and alex jones's and all of these different people on my podcast um what i've noticed uh, going back to the medical uh to western medicine what i've noticed is that the richest country in the world the united states of america had some of the worst health as you know society to speak so to add on to the previous question and now we're seeing cancer running rampant i'm pretty sure you've been noticing this as well my question is has western medicine become more of a industry than opposed to truly trying to help someone yeah let me answer that question the following way and i want to share something with you on your screen Please. so you can also see this let me bring this up i'm gonna share this over to you okay let me bring this up okay uh, you should be able to see my screen now, right? Yes. So, um, you know, when I launched our campaign for Shiva for president, we wanted to share with people. I think you can see this now, right? Let me share this. Mm -hmm. I think you see this, right? This yes, is our yes. website. Everyone should go to Shiva numeral for president.com. So obviously you can go to the site, you can donate, you can support our campaign, but most importantly, you can volunteer. But one of the important things there is just free download thing right here, okay? We've open sourced everything. So if you can't afford to buy a bumper sticker or card, you can print it, okay? You can make your own lawn signs. We give you all this, okay? But what you see here is that this is a flyer that everyone can go to the download section and download. Everyone should do this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we want to get millions of these out there. We've already gotten millions. We want to get hundreds of millions of these out there. Now, the lesser of two evils includes the not so obvious establishment and the obvious establishment, okay? The Kennedys and the Trumps and the Bidens, okay? And the Clintons. But what you see here is this graph here profoundly shares a very interesting diagram. And this, this is 1980 till today. And you see the US lifespan is going like this. And this started going down long before the quote unquote vaccine, okay? And the rest of the world you can see is also starting curvature is gonna go like that. But this goes back to 1980. It's a systemic issue of many, many problems. You know, income inequality, right? The issues of stress, 
break down a family. It's a whole bunch of things that policies have affected people's biology. And the only way out of this is, first of all, you to become aware of this, is that we have to shatter the swarm. All right. So that's why this is really important to understand. And by the way, um, everyone should get this flyer, even if you want to read it for yourself. Watch the Shatter the Swarm video. You know, I'll play this video I already played, but I'll play our campaign video. But every Thursdays, okay, every Thursdays at a 7 a.m., sorry, 11 a.m. and 8 p.m., we hold a open house that everyone sh should come to. And at this open house, you get to meet amazing people um, from all over the world. And you get to really understand what we're doing in terms of education. But everyone should go to Shiva for President, download this flyer. There's no cost to this. All you need is a printer. Go, you know, use your library's printer, right? Use someone else's, print them out and hand them out to people. And we do these town halls. But fundamentally, you see, we started out with this fundamental failure of Western medicine because it waits for crises. And at the end of the day, if you're here in 2024, your son or daughter is going to have a shorter lifespan than people did, you know, <laughs> um, they're going to have the lifespan of someone back in, you know, 1990. You say that's where we're going back to. All right. And it's going to keep going down and down. Look at this curve. It's going down. So that's one thing I wanted to, um, you know, share with people of fundamentally that that when you look at the results, it's pretty clear that the their system is not working it's failing it's an utter failure so that's what we need to understand now the solution to this is number one people need to understand the body as a system so where do you learn that well you're not going to learn in medical school you're not going to learn in a nursing school people don't have the chance to go thousand years ago and learn the ancient systems of indian medicine so i've had to teach it so that resulted in us putting together systems health a course that i was teaching when i got back from india at mit then we took it we've trained doctors on it who are smart who want to learn but we've opened that up to everyone that's a solution we need to teach people how to do research side of solve the technology that i created we've made it a sec accessible to anyone if you're out there and you're listening to this and you want to do research instead of having me do the work we will teach you how you can do research using this technology platform. You want to understand does 5G cause problems to you? You want to understand is eating this going to do you better? We mm -hmm. give you the platform. You can go to your neighbor, say, hey, let's all pitch in a little bit and let's go do this research together. We give you that platform. You can do research on the same level as MIT, Harvard, Stanford, et cetera. It's quite radical. How do you do scientific research in medicine today, you give your money to the government, the government takes that money and they give it to people like Fauci, people like the NIH, people like the, you know, where NHS, wherever you are in the world. And then the you're dependent on the government and then the government takes that money and they give it to their friends and different academic institutions who will politically do the results that they want. You see, that's what's actually going on. Okay. That's what's going on. They're not doing the research for the people, by the people. So we've created two very powerful capabilities. Systems Health, where you can become an educator. And then we have the capability where you can actually start doing research and we give the enabling technology to do that. So these are quite powerful things that solutions we've created. We've also created a whole bottoms up certification. What is clean food? It's a certification that's done by us, not owned by the government. You can get involved in that. So you see, we actually have real solutions. All are bottoms up. Every single one of them is bottoms up. What's also happening, people should be mindful of, is as, a, as people are breaking from the Western medical system, meaning they realize its weaknesses, mm -hmm. Western medicine is now creating fake, just like not so obvious establishment people, you know, the wellness company, right? <laughs> people, the medical doctors who were silent when COVID was taking place, right? And didn't do, didn't, now they didn't say anything. I was a guy who came out and educated millions. Yes. But they didn't say anything. They profited by their silence. And now they're on lecture tour saying, oh my God, the stuff causes myocarditis. It's in the freaking insert on the vaccine. It says it, it causes my, you're not telling us anything new. Oh, buy my NATO kinase. 
It will cure, you know. So they profited by their silence. And now they profit again by acting like they're your saviors. These are evil people because they didn't say, I'll tell the truth at the right time. So telling the truth after the building is burned down and at, saying, oh, I'm doing the right thing and going on fucker Carlson show who looks, oh my God, that's horrible. And he didn't tell the truth at the right time either. So understand that telling the truth at the wrong time shows a serious lack of courage and ignorance. Fine, if you wanna think those people, oh, now they've learned stuff and they're better. Well, are you gonna follow them as your leaders? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna follow a guy like me who put his ass on the line told the truth at the right time when it mattered. Exactly. You see, so people need to understand that when we look at medicine, you can always look at who is telling the truth at the right time and who gets, who is not telling the truth at the right time. And during that period, you'll see human suffering. I'll give you an example, like with the whole cholesterol nonsense. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is clear. It is clear that it is inflammation. Mm. It really causes you know, it is clear that it is inflammation that causes, you know, heart disease, okay, or the things that lead to heart disease. Now, at Harvard, there was a guy who had figured that out in the 1960s, but there was another competing group who had said it was cholesterol, 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 where they literally put this guy in the basement. They got rid of him. And for hmm. 30 years, they promoted this cholesterol nonsense hypothesis. And now it's proven the whole thing, oh, bad cholesterol, good cholesterol. It's actually inverse. People who have bad cholesterol at high levels are actually living longer in multiple longitudinal studies that they've done. And now it took, whatever, 70 years to find out what this guy was saying, 50 years, was actually the truth. Okay? Yeah. Well, in those 50 years, how many people got screwed? So telling the truth and hiding the truth is really evil. And, and then later telling the truth when it's convenient, convenient for you so you can make money and bullshit people that you're the teller of truth is pure evil. And that is what fucker Carlson does. No. That is what Joe Rogan does. So they're getting, they're stealing your pocket two ways. One, they don't tell you the truth when it matters using their bull, bull horns. And then they tell you the truth afterwards or parts of it. And then you as an idiot think, oh, wow, you know, Joe Rogan is telling me the truth. He, Dr. Shiva, why are you attacking Rogan? Well, that's why, because he fucked you when he had access to the megaphone. He knew it was true, but his handlers told him not to say anything. So I told the truth at the right time. Mm -hmm. Take vitamin D3 in 2020. I told the truth at the right time. Don't do the lockdowns, Trump. I was the one who started the Fire Fauci campaign. Not three years late, two years later, okay? When it was in vogue, it was fashionable. Mm -hmm. You must look to your leaders who do and say the right thing at the right time. That's leadership. So when you look to our movement, you're always going to get the truth at the right time.